All right, guys, welcome to today's live trading recap. Today is Thursday, April 11th. It was the day after a magnificent sell-off. I was expecting some follow-through from yesterday's sell-off, and boy, did we get it today. So let's get into it, folks. My name is Mark at Dino Trading. It is good to be with you. What you're seeing on the screen right now is today's live price action chart of the NASDAQ. And why the NASDAQ, right? Why do I show so many of my live trades on the NASDAQ? Well, it's only for one reason. And that reason is the NASDAQ is averaging well over 1,000 ticks or pips if you follow along in Forex, okay? in average daily range every single day. I mean, think about that, right? As traders, if we can just capture a small fraction of that move, then my goodness, are we gonna get rich, all right? Because if I've said it once, then I've said it a thousand times, folks. I believe that trading volatility is how you make money. That is my opinion. Feel free to agree or disagree with me. But if you disagree, then I don't think you've ever traded the NASDAQ. Because if you did, you'd know exactly what I'm talking about. Like many of my customers have told me this. The NASDAQ is a cash printing machine. So I'm going to show you my live short trade that I took at 9 a.m. this morning. And I'm also going to show you a trade that I missed. And this really irritated me a lot. All right. Because... Just a couple of minutes after I closed out my profitable short, a gorgeous long showed up here on the volume, and I missed it. I just chickened out, and I'm kicking myself about that, all right? But anyway, uh, let me get you dialed into the live short trade first. Let me give you the lay of the land first, all right? What you're seeing overlaid on top of the chart, folks, is our proprietary green and red volume indicator color band. All this thing does is detect trend changes via upticks and downticks. That's it. That's my secret sauce. That is what I've been able to do when I built my trading strategy for active day traders. All right, because that's all this thing does. It detects upticks and when it does, it colors this band green. It tells you that the buyers are in control. You can see that. And of course, when it detects downticks, dominating the price action, Yep, you guessed it. We then turn the color band red, as you can see, showed up here right at 9 a.m. this morning. Now, how you take a trade is different. We don't play the color change, right? Again, if I've said this once, I've said this a thousand times. We prefer to trade the retracement. Because whenever you see this pattern show up, man, you'd better be ready to pounce. And if you didn't pounce on this this morning, folks, shame on you, right? I mean, just take my word for it, folks. There is something special about trading volume. It is the only indicator that you're going to ever see me put on the chart, okay? Because my charts will never, ever look like this. I'm not interested in putting 50 million squiggly lines on my candlestick nonsense, right? That's why I call these chart garbage charts. I have no idea how anybody can find success when you're trading this garbage. And anybody who is using these type of candlesticks and Bollinger Bands and all this other trash, they're retail traders or amateur traders and generally people who don't know what they're doing. These are the people that blow out account after account, right? Anyway, like I was saying, when you see a retracement show up against the vol color band bro you got to pounce on it you can't even think about it you just have to react okay so take a look at my live fills all right can you see this se number one and se number two i went short two contracts on the nas today you can see i got filled at 243 and a half and i'm in this short trade with my stop loss in place I mean, that's it, folks. When I say react, it's boom. I enter short and I immediately place the stop loss. And you know what comes next, right? I always take profits at typically one to one. And that's because I've realized over time that it's just smart to take risk off the table and more importantly, lock in your profits. Don't be a dummy by letting the market maybe come back against you, right? Be quick to take some profits and take as much risk as you can off the table. Because 
if you do it right and the market decides to trend hard in your favor like it did today check this out right over here boys and girls you can see that i dumped this hog the second half of my trade stp stands for short take profits i bagged 200 plus ticks by simply using volume i mean sometimes folks the best trading systems are the ones that are the most simple right we wait for the trend to start we then look for the retracement we then take half off in order to remove risk and then we take profits right simple but powerful and of course man uh let me show you the trade that i missed um jesus i was really kicking myself for missing this one but here you go again right tell me if you agree or disagree was there a retracement here yes did you get to break even here yes did the market then rip hard according to the volume color band yes it did so yeah man once again congrats to all you guys and gals who played it in both directions today i gotta take my hat off too if you did you guys are slowly but surely starting to master the art of trading volume and today was one of the best trading sessions that i've ever seen let's continue guys and gals to keep going out there and crushing it using volume guys that'll do it for this video if you'd like to get your hands on this powerful volume indicator then get in touch call text email whatever's convenient and i'd be happy to hook you up with a free one-on-one -on -one demo really show you how this volume indicator is going to supercharge your trading guys thanks for watching this video and i'll see you on the next trade